Hi, welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. I want to do a real short video today showing how to do these layered signs. I've had many, many people ask, please do this for me. So today I'm going to show you. I'm using the easel software to be able to do it, and it's really very, very easy to do. So let's get started. To do a project like this, it's really very, very simple. I think it actually looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. But there's only a few short, easy steps to do to be able to make this work. The first step is to be able to open up a new file. Now the first thing you can now to do is open up a new project, or in my case, I'm just going to open up a new work piece. And then next thing is decide how big your sign is going to be. For my purpose, I went ahead and set this up at 24 inches by 6 inches. And this is 3 quarters of an inch deep. That is not really a critical point at this stage. But to be able to do this sign, we're going to start at the bottom and build back to the surface. So to be able to do that, first thing we're going to need a pocket. So I'm going to go over here to my shapes and I'm going to click on this box, open up a rectangle. Now, what size should I make? Well, I'm going to have this recessed in all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my shape window and I know that this is 24 inches wide. I think I want to have a half inch border. This can be anything that you want, it's your choice. But for my purpose, I'm going to do this at 23 inches. I know I'm 6 inches tall, so I'm going to make this 5 inches for my rectangle. And then I'm just going to go over to the Edit menu, click on that, and center to the material. The last thing you have to do for this is set the depth of the cut. Click on the Cut and change this to, let's say, 0.1 of an inch. The biggest problem that I see people do is they actually try to carve too deep. Now, 0.1 of an inch actually is fairly deep. Now, as far as the depth of cut, you can make this really anything that you want. It needs to be fairly shallow. If you can make the distinction between the different layers, the shallower, the better, because it's going to reduce the carve time so long as you get the desired end result. But for right now, I'm going to go with 0.1 inches deep. So my layer number one is finished. Now it's time for layer number two. And in my case, this is going to be text. And this is going to be the word kitchen. Now what you're looking for is a bold, wide letter. You want something that the text on the next layer can actually sit on and rest and still be able to be seen. So you can select any of these bold text in here and I would avoid the ones with fine detail or very small. But for right now I'm just going to select the homestead text and I want to type the word kitchen. Now with the word kitchen typed, I can actually, of course, move this anywhere that I want and I can also make this any size that I want. I can do that by reaching up here to the corner and stretching it and moving it that way. Or I can also come over, and this is something that people don't really realize, they can come over here and I want to lock this so the aspect ratios stay the same. but I know that my window, or my box, is 23 inches. Why do I make this 21 inches? And then I can center this to the material. And there you have it. The last thing I need to do is set the depth of cut. 
the depth of cut now is going to be about half the distance of my pocket. My pocket was 0.1 inch, so let's make this at 0 0.05. second layer is actually done. Now for the last layer, this is where you want to be able to have your script. And you can pick really anything that you like. I'm just going to grab this one. Now I'm going to type in my text that I want. And we'll type in good times, good friends, and good food. Okay, now that's done. Let's grab this and slide it over. All right. And that actually is going to be a little bit long. So again, we're just going to grab this corner and we can scale it down to any size that we want. And then we can slide it into position. And the other thing, of course, we can do it should hit edit, center of the material, and it's done. What you want to look for, different text will center a little bit differently in this box. So if you don't like the position, just grab it and move it where you want. The last thing that you have to do, of course, is change the depth of cut to zero. And that completes it. Now, these little tabs right here make it where you can actually grab and change what you're viewing. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this window now where I can see it a little bit better on the preview. Now this is where you can again play with the design and get it looking exactly the way you want it. Right now I have a 90 degree bit, that's all. And if I zoom in, you can see the slope is rather steep. So if you don't like that steep slope, change it to a 60 degree bit and see what it looks like. And see if you like that better. So again, this design process is all about what looks good to you. Now I actually like that better, so I'm going to stay with the 60 degree bit. We'll zoom back out. We'll take a look at this. The last thing that I want to be able to do is do the two stage carving. On a sign this large, you've got to cut out an awful lot of material. So to be able to help save time, you want to set up a two-stage card. So to do that, I am going to select the bit, and I'm going to put in a quarter-inch bit. In fact, I'm going to try something really unusual. I'm going to put in a three-quarter-inch bit, and then I'm going to come back as my secondary bit for my detail pass, my 60 degree. And let's see what that looks like. The finished product will be looking the same, but the key is how long is it going to take to be able to carve. So the sign looks exactly as it did before, but let's go ahead and simulate the time to be carved. So how long does that take to carve? Well, with a three quarter inch bit, it only took 28 minutes to do the roughing pass. But look at this time. The detail pass now is 3 hours, 35 minutes. That's a little bit crazy. So now we can just go back in. What happens if we change the roughing pass to a quarter inch bit? So we'll change that and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and simulate it. Okay, if you look at it now, you can see that it takes an hour and 49 minutes to do the roughing pass. But the detail pass is cut down quite a bit. That is going to be an hour and 38 minutes. You're still looking at basically three hours to be able to carve this sign. Now, is there another way that you could speed it up? Certainly. 
you can actually go up to the cut settings and change the feed rates and change the depth of cut on both the roughing pass and the detail pass and this strictly depends on your machine. If you're able to do that and I know I would, I would increase these speeds quite a bit based on what my machine can do but you have to make that decision on your own. But keep in mind to carve these signs it does take a lot of time to be able to do. One other thing that you can do too is look at the different fonts and you can just click on the font itself and you can change the font to get an idea of what it's going to look like instantly. Just by checking on the different font and you can see. This is an amazing tool that I really like where you can actually change it and see what it is capable of looking like. And that's one actually I like quite a bit. So you can see in a matter of just a very few minutes who is able to create this type of sign and it does look great. And just remember you can play with these different depths to be able to get it to look exactly the way that you want. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that the top layer, usually this written in script, is always going to be at a zero cut depth. The next layer down, which is your background word, is going to be about half of the distance to your full depth of the pocket. Keeping that parameter in mind, you can really do anything that you want to get the desired look. And I hope this helps today. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.